Hey everyone, it's Jenny here coming to you live from my home office. I'm staying at home like I know a lot of you are. And today I thought I would give you a great camp activity that's super simple that anybody can do. You can do it by yourself or with a partner, um, especially for our little friends. It might be great to do it with a partner. So today we're going to make a super simple twisty friendship bracelet. So to do this activity, all you need are some colors of embroidery floss. Um, I happen to have a few for some reason, um, but I've already picked out three. You could also use yarn if that's what you have at home. It would just be a little bit thicker of a bracelet, um, but I already chose my three. You could use two, you could use 10 colors. Um, I suggest using at least two. You could do it with just one if you wanted to. Um, but I suggest using at least two. I like these three, so I'm gonna go with a blue, a green, and a yellow today. You're also gonna need a pair of scissors, and if you're doing it by yourself, it might be helpful to have a safety pin so that you could pin it to um, a shoe or a piece of clothing or something. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do it probably without a safety pin today, um, but I'll tell you how to do that as well. So the first thing you're gonna do is take your colors of thread or yarn, whichever you're choosing, and you're gonna measure out a pretty large amount. Um, I like to use the finger to nose method myself. Um, in other words, I take it and I go all the way from my fingertip and take it all the way, whoop, as I drop it, all the way to my nose, I stretch it out. And that's about how much I'm going to need for my bracelet. So I'm going to cut that and I'm going to get my next two ready as well. So I've cut all three colors of my string here and I've got the one end so it's all ready. And now here's where it might be a little different if you're doing it by yourself or if you're doing it with a partner. If you're doing it with a partner, you can have each person just grab one end of the string. So one person on one end, one person on the other end. If you're doing it by yourself, it might be easiest to go ahead and knot this end. And this is where, um, if you have a, a safety pin, you might wanna put a safety pin through that little knot and then pin it either to your shoe or to your clothing. Then this part is the most fun part of the whole thing <laughs> and why I suggest this one for any age. You're going to have either end, so again we're going to imagine this is pinned to somewhere um, or each person is either holding either end. And all you're going to do is you're just going to start twisting in opposite directions. You're going to start twisting that thread. So you can see it's already starting to spiral a little bit on that thread. And this is why it's a little bit harder when you if you're by yourself and you don't have a safety pin. So you see I'm just spinning this thread here. And so if you're doing this with somebody else, you're each gonna be spinning either end and you're gonna do this until it is super tight spirals. So it's gonna take just a moment while I do this. Okay, I think I've got mine twisted pretty well. You can see it's pretty tight spiral there. Um, you could do it even tighter if you want. And then um, if you are doing this with a partner, you're gonna have one person put their finger right in the middle of this string. Um, since I'm doing it by myself, again, if I tied it to my shoe, I could put one string, one finger in the middle here. But since I didn't tie it to a shoe, I'm making this a little more complicated for myself. What I'm gonna do is use my nose because that's kind of funny. And you're going to take the other two ends and put them together. I'm using my nose. And okay, so now I've got my finger in the middle. So you can see it's kind of folded in half here. And then all you're going to do is let go of the one end. And you see how it just twisted right up like that? I'm going to pull it so it's all straight there. You could even just smack it around if you wanted to if you're having trouble getting it. But you see now how it is super twisted braided and that's it. All you're going to do is tie a little knot in one end while it's all twisty and there you go. That is your twisty friendship bracelet.
I suggest making a few of these and sending them to friends during this time to let them know you're thinking of them. All right, have fun making your friendship bracelets. And if you want some more challenging ones, let me know. I'd be happy to make a couple more videos. But I thought this is a good place to start for our friends of all ages.